what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video i just want to discuss a tweet that stephen king sent out during the last few days of all of july last month uh he basically sent out a tweet describing an epic confrontation uh that's set to appear or that we can expect in it chapter two he tweeted that the final confrontation in the film is epic that's the one word he used to describe it and that's what i want to kind of talk about right now in this video so we've already seen the trailers and a lot of images and a featurette even that came out a few days ago to get everyone and to get everyone uh hyped up for this film uh i would say they've done a great job at building anticipation and making everyone get excited about seeing the losers club and pennywise back on the big screen in a few short weeks in regards to what he is mentioning with this epic finale i'm inclined to believe stephen king here only due to the fact that i know he kind of endorses a lot of his projects he also has come out and dismissed some of the incarnations of his projects but with it it feels like he's doing it a bit more and then on top of that considering how well received and just how good the first film actually was i'm gonna go ahead and say that stephen king probably knows what he's talking about when he says that we can expect something epic with this finale because just everything about the film the way they're the way they're building it up it kind of has that in-game type of feel even though it's the only similarity it has with in-game here is the fact that it is the end and they're almost the same runtime uh I'm really looking forward to see how this all wraps up. I haven't read the book in years. I'm familiar with, of course, what happens in the end, but I don't know specifically what will happen. I'm interested to see what changes they will make because I am going to go back and look at some of the changes that they made in the finale for the film, for the miniseries, and then compare all of that to the source material, but still going to grade everything on its own merits. I'm going to try to avoid comparing it to the book in a variety of ways. But this finale, I think we see glimpses of this epic finale in the trailers and in a few of the uh, behind the scenes stuff that's come out for the film. I think we see a few shots of the losers in Pennywise's lair performing a familiar, a specific ritual that I'm sure many of us are familiar with if we've educated ourselves on the um, origins of Pennywise the Clown and the whole town of Derry and things regarding a turtle that I hope does not make an appearance in this film but I'm just excited to see how this all wraps up I'm excited to see this epic finale that Stephen King is talking about uh, everything that's just been talked about in regards to the film from Andreas Muschietti who who is on record saying that the horror aspects are being of course honed in on in this one since the losers are now grown up that kid friendly stuff that we had in the first film it'll be present but i think it's going to get toned down quite a bit and the horror elements are going to get taken to the next level since they are older this will be a scarier film the film will be more intense a lot more is on a lot more is at stake in this one this time around um uh, i'm really interested to see how this all wraps up I have a funny feeling that this movie might be a little tear jerking in the end. It might make a few people cry. Uh, just because of how you can just see that. Because at the end of the day, this is a coming of age film. Uh, regardless of Pennywise, regardless of your fear of clowns, regardless of any of that. I think what it's important to remember is that Stephen King wrote a... He did write a horror tale, yes, but this horror tale is at its core about growing up, facing your fears head on, um, going past your fears and using them to motivate you into your next step in life. And I'm kind of excited to see how this wraps up. I'm expecting an ending that may be a bit tearful or a bit tear jerking for some, maybe even myself. I It's rare that a movie makes me get um, teary eyed, but i'm really looking forward to it chapter two i'm looking forward to seeing this epic finale that stephen king is talking about what do you guys think is going to happen in the end of the film no spoilers specifically about the book if you read it please but just give a brief summary of what you think they are going to do to make this finale very epic 
uh, let me know down in the comment section below. Also in the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications.